Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful endgame study for you composed by Alexei Troitsky. It's white to move and win the game, you can post the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, the best move in this position is rook a8 check. By the way, playing f7 is not good because after g6, rook a8 check, king g7, king e7, g2, rook g8 check, king h6, rook h8, king g5, rook takes h7, black is promoting to a queen first, f8 queen by white, now comes queen c5 check, king f7, queen takes f8, king takes f8, and black is capturing on f3, and now it's white who has to struggle for drawing the game. Let's go back. So, in this position, as I have already mentioned, the best move is rook a8 check, knight f8, the only move, rook takes f8 check, king h7, f7, king g6, now if you move your rook, black can simply capture on f7, king e7, protecting the pawn, g2, rook h8, a very strong move, you will understand the idea of playing rook h8 a few moves later. g1 queen, and now can you find the best move for white? Ready? Well, if you promote your pawn to a queen, then after queen c5 check king d7, queen takes f8, rook takes f8, black is capturing on f3, and now again, white has to struggle to draw the game. Let's go back. So, instead of promoting to a queen, white has an amazing move. White is promoting his pawn to a knight, with a check of course, king g5, and now knight e6 check. King g6, the only square, knight f4 check, king g5, and here comes this knight h3 fork. Forking the queen and the king, and after king g6, White is simply capturing on g1 and this is winning for white. What an amazing puzzle by Alexei Troitsky. Your comments and questions please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.